Hello to all grade 8. Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. This time our lesson is multiplication of rational exp expressions. So in order for you to understand our multiplication of rational expressions, please make sure that you watch our tutorial videos in simplifying rational expressions. But first, let us have a short recall about simplifying expressions. Let's say we have 10 over 18. Okay. 10 over 18. To simplify that, we know that the factors of 10 are 2 and 5. And for 18, factors are 9 times 2. And now, to simplify, cancel the common factors. Well, the common factor here is 2 and 2. And our final answer is 5 over 9. This is now the simplest form. And now, let's try that cancellation technique in our multiplication of rational expression. Let's say we have 6 over 7 times 14 over 18. Six over seven times fourteen over eighteen. Let us use the cancellation method. So fourteen and seven. If I am if I am going to divide seven to fourteen, that will give me two. So two. And this will become one. Next. 6 and 18, both numbers are divisible by 6, so this will become 1, and this will become 6, 12, 18, 3. Okay, or if you want, get the factors of 14 and 18. So for this one, 2 times 7, okay, I will cancel 7, and you will cancel 7, that will become 2, and for 6 and 18, factors of 18 are 6 times 3. So I will cancel 6, then I will cancel 6 in our denominator. Okay. You can explore different techniques. Now, simplify. 1 times 2, that is 2, over 1 times 3, that is 3. This will be our final answer. 2 over 3. Let's have example number 3. Let's say 12a cube b all over 75 times 125 over 8a B cube. Okay. Twelve A cube B all over seventy five times one twenty five over eight A B cube. Let us start with our coefficients. One twenty five and seventy five. Their common factor is, the greatest common factor is 25. So why 25? Because 125 is equal to 25 times 5. Okay? And 75 is equal to 25 times 3. In that case, we're going to cancel 25 and 25 because that is equal to 1. So cancel. 
and also cancel this one. So the remaining numbers are 5 and 3. How about in 12 and 8? Common factors, or the common factor is 4. Because 12 is equal to 4 times 3, and 8 is 4 times 2. So we're going to cancel 4 and 4. So the remaining number is 3 and 2. Okay. There's more. Since this is cancelled out, 12 and 18 will be cancelled out. 3 divided by 3. 3 divided by 3. That will become 1. So we can also cancel 3 and 3. Now for our remaining coefficients, we have 5 for the numerator. And 2 in our denominator. So 5 over 2. Next, proceed in our variable. a cubed divided by a, our numerator now is a squared. And b divided by b cubed, this will become b squared. And this is now our final answer. If you want, you can recall our topics in laws of exponents. That is your grade 7 lesson. Third quarter grade 7. Let's try this one. Number 4. 5a squared b all over b cubed c raised to 4 times b squared c raised to 4 all over 25 c uh, a cubed. Again, 5a squared b all over b cubed c raised to 4 times b squared c raised to 4 all over 25 a Okay, 5 and 25, common factor is 5. So that will become 1 over 5. Because 25 is 5 times 5. So we can cancel 5 and 5 in this number. Next, for our variable, for letter A, squared and cubed, so let us subtract. So if we have 2 up in our numerator and 3 down, so we're subtracting, we have a, remaining a in our denominator. And for b, so take a look on this one. 2 plus 1, that is 3. So 3 divided by 3 here. That will become 1. So our uh, 3 minus 3, that will become 0. So 2, 3, so cancel. That will become canceled out. So our variable P will be canceled out. Because B cube over B cube is 1. Next, for letter C, C raised to 4 over C raised to 4. Oh, that is 1. So, we don't have variable C for our final answer. So, our final answer is 1 over 5A. Okay. Then, our last example. Let us try number 5. The problem is 12 minus 4x all over 
x squared minus 9 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over x squared minus 1. Okay. This is our example number 5. In our numerator, let us factor. So the common factor is 4. So 3 minus x. And for our denominator, difference of 2 squares. So x plus 3, x minus 3. Times general trinomial, x plus 1 times x plus 1. A perfect square number. Perfect square trinomial. And difference of two squares, x plus 1, x minus 1. Again, master all the different factoring techniques. Now let us cancel similar terms. x plus 1, x plus 1. Next, in this case, you can review our simplifying rational expression. This will become, we can rewrite this as negative 4, then we have x plus Negative 4 and x plus 3. Over, copy, x plus 3, x minus 3, times, our remaining expression here is x plus 1, x minus 1. Cancel similar terms, x plus 3 and x plus 3. And for our final answer, Negative 4, x plus 1 over x minus 3, x minus 1. This is now our final answer. But if you want to distribute or use the final method, that is okay. But if you want to write your final answer in this form, it is also okay. So that is the multiplication of rational expression. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo T.